Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, America has been debating health care for over 100 years, and during this debate, we've heard complaints and blame and misrepresentations, slogans, even name-calling. But today, we finally get to discuss the bills. The bills will provide affordable health care insurance for, to over 30 million Americans who are uninsured today, including those with pre-existing conditions. These bills will provide security for those who have insurance because 14,000 Americans will no longer lose their insurance every day, and others will no longer have to watch the cost of their insurance skyrocket every year. Insurance companies will no longer be able to cancel policies or stop making payments in the middle of an illness. No longer will those with health care have to make co-payments for preventive services or go bankrupt because the bills provide affordable limits on co-pays and deductibles. And because the legislation will provide affordable insurance to virtually all Americans, families with insurance will not have to pay an extra $1,000 a year to offset health care costs for those who show up at hospitals without insurance. Seniors will no longer fall into the donut hole. Our youth will no longer have to, will, will be able to stay on the family <coughs> policy. Gentlemen may proceed. Thank you. Our youth will, will be able to stay on their family policies until they're 26, and small businesses will see significant savings in health insurance costs because they will purchase insurance with the same price advantages as large businesses, and many small businesses will receive temporary tax credits. That's what's in the bill, and it's more than paid for. The CBO projects significant savings for the first 10 years and huge savings for the next 10 years. Mr. Speaker, future generations will look back at the votes we cast today, just as today we look back at the votes on Social Security and Medicare. Those future generations will see that we proudly voted in favor of health care for all. Thank you. Mr.